Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. As always, we have a lot to cover today. And if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment below, check out membership. There's um, the 15 classes that you can see in the playlist. You can take them anytime. And the new class is on numerology. So we're digging into that. Um, we did the seven calculations already for different life path type numbers. And now we're getting into what it all means. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. On Monday, I will be on Milu's channel. He's always on at noon Eastern time, uh, which would be nine o'clock Pacific time. And I've been sort of taking a little bit of a step back um, just in general, because this is the month now we're getting into the time where Michael and I are bringing the stalker to court. So all those court dates are coming up because they won't stop violating all the orders. You know, we try to progressively go up with, you know, like no trespassing, no contact. They just keep violating them again and again. And um, it's just so scary um, to have someone that doesn't even know you get obsessed with you. And now they're doing it virtually on top of it. It's not just physical. I don't know if this makes it better or worse, but um, virtual is kind of like nonstop. And so just bear with me over the next few weeks, okay? Um, it's going to be trying. And, you know, it's been ten about 10 months now since this person's been stalking Michael and I. And... Um, and all of you that wrote to me saying you've been through similar situations and the police were not a help. No, they are not a help. That's not who you go to, really, unless they do something really dangerous. Um, for the most part, you, no. Uh, what we had to do was we have two teams of lawyers because it happened in two different states because Michael was living in one state when it started. Um, but also, too, what I did is that I went to my state's victim advocacy program. So when I walk into court... It's with the backing of my state. So whatever protective orders, whatever legal assistance I need, it, it'll just all happen. So that's what I would suggest um, for all of you that are struggling with us, because it is scary. You know, like I remember one day this person, Michael and I were just sitting there watching TV and they decided to throw themselves at Michael's house again and again. It was so loud, like just screaming and swearing. And I'm recording it. I mean, it scared me. I Once I, you know, got my wits about me, I was like, I'm recording this. And we had to call the police to get them to leave because they literally said, when because Michael had asked them to leave, they actually said, not that they wouldn't leave, they couldn't leave. And for me, something just went off in my mind that said, okay, this is all I need to know. This person's not in control. When you can't leave somebody's driveway, you're not in control. So just bear with me over these next few weeks. Um, I won't be as active maybe as I could. Membership, I'm not going to change a thing because that's a commitment that I've already made to all of you. So, but I will do my best to put out videos and you know, thank you for all your kind words, but I just wanted to give you a little update on all that. So, so much news to cover as always. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi, as you know, visited Taiwan. That got China very, very angry. They, you know, warned her, how dare you, don't you dare. And she dared. So we can't let other countries tell us what to do, right? And now Russia's getting involved. You know, Vlad wants his piece of that pie too. So let's take a look at Taiwan itself, okay? And what do we need to know about Taiwan? And if you can see my hair blowing, and it is so hot here in the Northeast. It's, it's in the 90s. It's extremely humid. So I have a fan right on me. Okay, so what do we need to know, Spirit, about Taiwan? What are they going to be going through? I think they're going to be having a difficult time. First of all, I don't think this is going to be an easy time. I, I know that there is a lot of saber rattling, but at the same time, um, I think some of it's legit. 
So right now they're trying to balance everything. They're trying to balance everything, right? So, I mean, I'm sure they don't want to go to war either. So, you know, they're trying to keep the peace. They're trying to do what they can do. You know, I mean, they're not very big, especially compared to China. So they're trying to do what they can, but it's a balancing act. Interesting. I think for a lot of us, and this is in the obstacle position, this is our Nancy Pelosi card. So, you know, I think she caused a bit of, you know, mayhem by going there. But at the same time, we can't not go someplace because another country tells us that we can't. I, it would have made us look weak, I think. So I think Taiwan's going to be getting some um, community support, right? This is support from others, Three of Pentacles. So they're going to get support from others. They're not going to go at this alone. They're going to have to forge a new path ahead. Okay, here they are holding the sword of truth, forging a new path ahead. You know, this is like a whole new venture for them. And it's going to ultimately, this is the judgment card, lead to rebirth and revitalization. So in the end, when everything is said and done, and we are a long ways away from that, okay? I'm not pretending like this is going to be over today, tomorrow, next month, the month after, I'm not. But when everything is said and done, they will be stronger for it. So, you know, I think we just need to hold everybody up in love and light and in our prayers and that sort of thing, um, because it's not easy. So 45 is suing CNN. Oh my goodness. Just when you think he doesn't reach another level of grifting, um, he sent out a letter not too long ago, an email that is, you know, to his followers asking for more money. They have raised millions and millions for him to sue CNN for talking about the big lie. And his lawyers wrote a 282 page letter. <laughs> Believe it or not, almost 300 pages of nonsense of how it's not a big lie. So let's see if that is going anywhere. Let's see if it's going anywhere. And then I have a great one to read on about the RNC. If you haven't heard this one, you're you're going to be interested. So stay tuned for, oh, one jumped. You know what? I think this is perfect. Uh, this is 45 with the blindfold on, not seeing things clearly. You know, sure, he is at a crossroads. He is going to have to make decisions. Um, but his decisions are always going to be skewed towards his best interest. You know, he's probably the least patriotic person I can think of. Okay, let's see. So, all right, so we get the tower card. No big surprise, but let's see what surrounds it. So, because this could go one way or another, right? This could actually be towards CNN. I don't think so, though. But let's take a look. Followed by the justice card. Okay, so... I think this is for a 45. <laughs> um, I really do. And it's going to have to do with his relationships. We always end up going back to this, don't we? His relationships with, you know, the Russians, with people that do dark, nefarious things, keep getting him into trouble. And it's going to be a total loss for him. So, well, or is it a total loss for him? Because he didn't actually raise any of the money. So I guess, what does he have to lose in that sense? Now, here's the one I was saying, stay tuned for. The RNC has said they are going to stop footing 45's bills if he declares himself a candidate in 2024. So I thought we would take a look at that. Do they mean it? Will they do it? Um, you know, like I've said before, I don't see him actually being like a serious candidate, but could he do it just to stall things, stroke his ego, that kind of thing? Um, yeah, I could picture that for sure. For sure. So RNC, 
not footing 45 bills anymore. Ah, well, here's the RNC. Their back is turned. They're leaving him. Um, to me, this is pretty cut and dry, three of wands. Um, this could also be 45 waiting for a ship to come in. Because this is one of the stranger cards. It, I don't know why they did it this way, but even though this is all yellow down here, that's actually water with boats in it. So it's, you know, waiting for your ship to come in sort of thing. Um, oh, interesting. This card has popped up yet again. Um, I think both the RMC and 45 are at a crossroads. Um, they're trying to figure things out. They don't want him as a candidate. He doesn't want to be a candidate. You know, he never did want to be a candidate. But if it can sort of prolong things and make him look better, yeah. But he's he's going to sit there and try to persevere, you know, until his dying breath. He is going to keep pushing himself forward. Um, but I don't think that's going to work. Instead, he's going to have to get his money elsewhere. So, yeah, I'm going to say the RNC is going to stop um, footing his bills and he's going to have to figure this out on his own. But, I mean, he's been pretty successful at grifting from his followers. So I I don't know how big of a problem that's going to really be for him. I just don't see him ever winning anything. Um, so it just came out, I saw um, this morning, the BA5 variant. Um, Dr. Fauci warns of trouble if you're not up to date with the uh, you-know-what. Uh, say that this is, you know, can be a serious variant if you don't have anything, uh, any sort of protection. So I thought maybe we could just take a look at that and see where this BA5 is heading towards what, what that's going to be like. And then, of course, we have to talk about Alex Jones, don't we? We have to talk about him. I mean, the things that went on in that courtroom would make anybody's head spin. Okay. So the first card I get. All right. So we're going to feel sort of like um, victims, prisoners, you know, like we're not free. You know, I don't, I've said this before, I'm not seeing a major lockdown or anything again, but could I picture um, particularly certain companies, businesses, schools, things like that, um, having mask mandates? That I absolutely could. And I know for some people that feels really restrictive, uh, but I think, you know, I, I do think we're going to be okay, but I, like I've said before, I don't foresee this pandemic ending today or tomorrow. I think it's going to go on for years because it's a virus and viruses mutate, right? So the obstacle is um, the card of temperance, balance, harmony. You know, it's a, it's a good health card. If you're doing a health reading and this comes up, you know, it's a great card. But we have a lot more learning and educating to do, okay? There's more education that we need, more learning that we need, you know, from our scientists, um, and explaining to people, making sure that they understand about like hand washing and wearing masks when you're in enclosed places. And, you know, because like I love to travel, but if you put me in any sort of confined space, you know, whether it's a, a boat, if it's a bus, I, I don't care. Um, I'm going to wear a mask because I still want to go and do things, but. I think a lot of people need to get on board with that. Just like in Asia, you know, they seem to understand that concept a lot better than we do. And a lot of people are going to get sick. So yeah, there's still going to be people that get sick from this. Um, and I think to, to some degree, we do feel like victims. We feel stabbed in the back because I, I think so many of us did everything right. And yet here it is it didn't go anywhere, right? It just mutated. So I think we need to um, be careful, you know, take the right precautions, um, do what you have to do. So Alex Jones, oh, he drives me crazy. I don't know about you out of all the right wingers and the conspiracy theorists for some reason, he is just one of them that really gets under my skin. And I think it's because, and a lot of you may not know this, okay? If you don't follow 
those Q conspiracy theories, you may not understand what he's saying. So when he is saying things like the Sandy Hook parents and those children that were, you know, massacred weren't real, they're crisis actors. What he's basically saying, and this does come from Dolores Cannon, they took this, Dolores Cannon never meant this. They, they took some of her ideas, which she, even in her own books, have said are not always correct, that she has, um, you know, I, like one idea that goes that way and, and then some other entity that she talks to goes the other way with it. So it doesn't always merge. So even she is like, I am not always right with these, you know, with what I get from people. Um, because you'd put people under hypnosis. I don't know if you know, but, but she would talk about background people background people. And basically what the Alex Jones of the world has done is say, well, they don't have souls. They're AI. So you can do whatever you want to them because they're not real. It doesn't matter. It's just a game. You're in a matrix. You know, if you want to harm them, harm them. It's fine. And that's why those parents that sued, I mean, their house, that, that, that husband and wife's house was shot up. You know, but I guess why not if they don't have souls and they're not real, right? I mean, it's so absurd, so absurd. When you look at things from that point of view, uh, it's just mind boggling. And, and I really do believe Dolores Cannon was a good person. That was not her intentions. There was, I really don't believe that for one second. But he was ordered to pay uh, close to $50 million. And he's trying to say that he doesn't have the money, even though when you see what his um, info wars is worth, he certainly does. So let's take a look at him and what's going on with him. And then we'll look at the, um, the nuclear safety in Ukraine because they keep shelling it. So that's becoming a problem, isn't it? So what do we need to know about Alex Jones? Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. So once again, we're getting the poor me. I'm a victim. Um, I've been betrayed. I've been stabbed in the back. Now, I mean, his lawyers accidentally given over all of his texts and financial records to the other side. Yeah, he actually may have been betrayed, but you know what? It was for the highest good, so I'm sort of okay with it in that sense, right? <laughs> he needed to be stopped. He he does need to be stopped. You know, I, no, I know that's not ethical to do that, what happened. But, you know, who knows? Maybe it was an actual mistake. Um, that's a pretty big one. Once again, look at this. Poor me. I'm the victim. I'm a martyr. I'm like the sacrificial lamb. He is still having that mindset. So... He has not come full circle. Remember how I've talked about this before? About like how people like 45 and Vlad, uh, you know, are they sort of evildoers because that's part of their karma to come full circle, to have an epiphany, to be enlightened, to wake up in this incarnation? And I always get no. And you can see how it's a no for Alex Jones too. That it's a no. This is just... He's a bad actor right now, and that's what he's doing. So his outcome is judgment. Um, I'm not sure how much clearer you can get than that. Uh, yeah, he did not like the judgment that was handed down. I'm sure he'll do his best to try to get out of it, but I don't know how much it's going to work because I don't know about you. And you can put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Don't you see the other Sandy Hook parents taking him to court now? Now that they know that it's possible, can't you picture it? Like, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And it's leaving him, once again, burdened and oppressed, the poor me again. He's gotten every poor me type card there is. And I don't know about you, but I am not feeling sorry for him. So let's take a look at nuclear safety in Ukraine after it's been shelled. Now, the Russians are trying to say... Ukrainians are shelling it. I mean, I'm not sure why they would be doing that, but I, I don't know about you. It seems to me like it's the Russians shelling it. And it's been going on now for several months, not just, you know, a day or two or a week or two. So let's see, what do we need to know about the nuclear safety with that Ukrainian 
um, power plant. I don't feel great about it. Uh, I think they need to be careful. I'm going to do a three card pull at the end using the Moonology cards. I'm going to be taking the Moonology certificate class. I think it might be really fun to learn how to give like a proper Moonology reading. Um, and that's Yasmin Boland. I signed up to take her course. I love learning like so many of you. Okay, okay. So these cards are kind of miserable as I take them out. Oh Lord, okay. Um, so the first card is literally the tower. So, okay. Yeah, they're shelling it and it's not good and it's causing a problem. It's not, it's not good. Uh, the obstacle though, people aren't being honest about it. Okay. So I know the Russians are trying to say, well, no, we didn't do it. It's all good. We're fine. You know, uh, it's all Ukrainians doing it, but no, I mean, here's the sort of truth. They're going to bicker and argue and fight back and forth about it. Ukrainians need help with this one because I don't want them feeling like this character, like they're alone on a hill right now. Uh, this is a bigger problem, but they're in for a ruthless battle because there was an abuse of power by the Russians. So this is um, serious and I think it's real, you know, it's, it's not one of those things that's made up. So who's uh, here's the Moonology deck. I picked three cards and just ask universe, spirit, your spirit guides, what do I need to know today? Take a deep breath. And which card resonates with you? One, two, or three? Okay, here we go. Card number one. Don't let pride get in your way. This is a full moon in Leo card. So don't let pride get in your way. Sometimes we have to say sorry. Sometimes we have to ask others for help. So often with my clients, I feel like they're an army of one. Like they try to do everything all by themselves. And, you know, it's good to have self-pride. You know, that's your solar plexus chakra, right? Which is yellow. But it's also good to, because I think it's part of self-care, asking for help from others when you need it. Card number two, I love this. Um, it's full moon and Capricorn energy. And it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. So if you've been struggling, if things have not been going your way, the cycle is ending. You'll be starting a better one, a brand new phase soon. And then number three, new moon in Leo energy. Gorgeous card. Confidence is your key to success. You know, so often we don't put ourselves out there because our self-esteem isn't what it should be. And once again, that's solar plexus energy too. So, you know, opening that chakra up, envisioning it being a beautiful yellow and spinning clockwise front to back, checking it for holes or darkness or making sure that it's not wobbly. That sort of thing can go a long ways, especially if you consistently do it every single day. So, all right, everyone, it was a pleasure making this video. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, share, check out membership. Bye, everyone.